This is the sous vide art precision cooker set. And it comes with this precision cooker, as well as a hand pump, four clips, two clip closers, a user manual, a recipe book, as well as 30 bags to seal your food in small, medium, and large too. Today, we're gonna to be making pork chops with the sous vide cooker, and it's just gonna taste amazing. The nice thing about this 800 watt sous vide cooker is you can just put it on and then go, and it's gonna cook your food all by itself. It's on a timer too. So it comes with this universal clamp that you're gonna clamp onto your pot, and then you have this timer feature here that you can set to your time, as well as the heat too. The cooking options are limitless. You can make eggs, meat, poultry, as well as vegetables too. Once you put the food in these bags, it's gonna lock in the flavor. And then you just clamp it onto the side and then you're good to go. It's gonna do all the cooking for you. It's a healthier and tastier option of cooking your food. Since it's gonna cook in the bag, it keeps all the nutrients and flavor of the food inside the bag. And let me show you how it works. The first thing you're gonna do is season your food. I'm making pork chops and I seasoned it with black pepper as well as Montreal steak seasoning too, and a dash of oil as well. So now we're gonna get these and put it in each of these individual bags. Once we're finished putting them in these individual bags, we're going to close it up and then we're going to use this clip to get a better seal. Just like that. Perfect. Now we're going to get our pump and we're gonna extract all the excess air out of these bags because that way it's not gonna float in the container of water. It's working nicely. Perfect. Once it becomes difficult to pump, that means all the air has been extracted. And now we're gonna go on to the next one. Perfect. Let me show you a close up of the bags. This is what it looks like when all the air has been sucked out of the bag. Now the next thing you're gonna do is get a pot of water. And then we're going to immerse this sous vide cooker into it. And then we're gonna tighten this up to the edge. And then we're going to turn it on. Okay, to turn on the unit, you push this button to power it on. Then we're gonna select the M to put our desired temperature. In this case, it's gonna be 150 degrees. Then we're gonna hit the M again and lower it to one hour and 30 minutes. And then it's going to start after you push this button. So far right now, since we had it cooking a little bit ago, it's at 130 degrees. We just have to wait for 150 degrees before we can put our meat inside and clip it to the edge. So now we just heard it beep. So that means it's ready for us to clip our meat to the side of the pot. And now we can cover it with some clear plastic wrap so the water doesn't disperse and evaporate. Keeps everything nice and hot. Now that we covered it with plastic wrap so the water doesn't evaporate and keeps everything hot, and now we wait till the timer goes off. It should go off in about one hour and 27 minutes. Can't wait, it's gonna taste so tasty. Yay, we got about an hour and 25 minutes to go. It also comes with this cookbook too, and it tells you directions on how to set up your cooker, seal the food in a bag, clip bag to container, then cover the container and cook. Relax until time is up. Then you can also make a delicious crust. 
So there's recipes for burgers, ribs and wine sauce, bacon cheeseburger, roast beef, steaks, barbecue ribs, ribeye steaks, English mustard chicken and beans, chicken breast and lemon juice and maple syrup sauce, chicken wings, tequila chicken, turkey breast, delicate chicken nuggets, spicy shrimp with olive oil and garlic, lemon cod, scallops, spinach salmon, asparagus with tomato basil vinaigrette, and butter poached corn on the cob, as well as Mediterranean green beans. Okay, so it just beeped. Now we're going to take off this plastic wrap and pull out each of these bags. And wow, it kept all the juices inside and I bet it's going to taste delicious. The nice thing about the sous vide cooking is you can just make it and forget about it until you hear it beep. And it's nice because it's going to keep all the nutrients, vitamins, and flavors inside. Yum. Now you can choose to either open this right now and eat it, or you can put it on a skillet and heat it up again for it to get a little golden brown and crispy. Let me show you a close up of how good it looks. Nice. Beautiful. Searing nicely. Now time to flip. Yum, yum, yum. It's sizzling nicely. Now let's turn it over. Beautiful. See how it got nice and golden brown? Yum. Now let's go take a bite. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is good. I'm gonna have another bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another satisfied customer. <laughs> Mmm, mmm, mmm. That was delicious. I was sent this from Subi Art to evaluate and to give my opinion, and I really like it. And I think you will too. Thank you so much for watching, and hope you found this video helpful. Happy cooking!